Hello everyone, my name is Maggie. Welcome to Diaries of Maggie Peters. In this channel, I feature content relating to home decor, health, and lifestyle. For stopping by, thanks so much. Be blessed. In today's video, guys, I'll be doing a whole entire Camo Quenja review on the things that I've ever bought. So, <laughs> yeah, in case you get to to, to see an item and you have ever seen before in this channel you are a true viewer so <laughs> without so much wasting time kindly get to give this video a thumbs up and also get to subscribe for more whereby i'll be telling you guys that kamokonji things get worth buying and how much the prices and also the shops that you can get from those who don't know where Kamukonji is, it's just located next to Kamukonji police station or when you get to be at OTC, OTC it's a famous st stage or a street I think so and when you get to a light there you can get to ask where Kamukonji is, it's just straightforward or if you have ever been in Kikomba, it's just along that side and yeah let's just get to this first review that is and so I had bought these plates the lumina one at around they were going for for six pieces they were going for 1500 and also for this one it was also 1500 they are the same type but different colors and also i noted that they have bowls uh they also have the big like smaller plates than this one so they are like up to here and all of them they are going for 1500 as i said so in case you're interested with the balls for these ones, they're the same 1500 and I can guess to rate this, it's a good rate since the plates are serving me so so much well and yeah, for me I can get to rate it 10 out of 10, yeah 10 out of 10 for this one, I think. <laughs> so maybe if you have ever used them, you can get to rate them down below. So let's get to the next item. The other one uh, is this cup, if you can see it. It had small decoration or small details over there. And I bought this set, so it came to set. This one, I have this one, and another set that is. And it was going for 550 Kenyan shillings. And as you can see, it's a good quality cup, even inside. I would highly recommend this one if you're thinking to go for any type of mugs in Kamukonji just go there buy and yeah unfortunately one of the sets the other set Libunjika. so at least this one that i'm going to say is it's a complete set the other one one of the set Libunjika. but anyway we move on we move on image <laughs> because these are perishable things anyway so Let's do a lower and I always get to see this dear long way put my chapel and these are perishable things. Even if you stay like a queen or a king, you will never get to make these things this way I will become a kupunzika. They will. So for the cups I would get to rate them nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. Because one okay, the only disadvantage is because for those people who love big mugs <laughs> but otherwise if you love small mugs like me it's out of 10 but if you don't like bigger mugs it's 9 out of 10 but i would highly recommend that one the next thing is this one it's a thermos which i bought i think it was 750 if i'm not mistaken yeah 750 i've used it for more than even two months and so far so good uh it keeps most of the liquids very hot and i would highly recommend that one because i bought it two months ago still in a good condition yeah i can get to rate it 10 out of 10 also the other items are these mugs yeah now for those people who love big cups here we go <laughs> yeah for those who love big mugs that is or big cups uh, this one a set was going for a thousand Kenyan shillings, so I only went for a set. I, yeah, for a set only. And also, unfortunately, we buried one of his own brother or sister. So, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, one of their brother or sister we buried it. But anyway, we move on. We move on. Yeah. So for this one, I think. 
it's a good rate but i would highly recommend if you're using the mugs always make sure that you clean clearly here because it will affect the mug the more you use it the more it will turn the color if you don't get to wash it very well we, you can also get to use the traditional way which i think it's washing using an ash if i'm not mistaken so yeah if you're looking for good quality mugs you can get to check on kamo konji and you get good mugs like these ones they are made of different colors there are those ones for white for brown pinkish any color that you want and also gray whereby this set also gets to go in with my plate so i think i can get to rate it nine out of ten also yeah it's a good one and the other one are these glasses and you guys you remember last time i told you i had to buy another set for this one unfortunately unfortunately you can imagine the worst happened i've already lost two of these so in this set we have four and the other set are six so i only have eight glasses instead of no four. sorry yeah they're supposed to be six plus six plus twelve minus two so those are ten only you can imagine and it's only less than even six months <laughs> But as I said before, these are perishable things and I think this one I would highly recommend since it can get to serve water, juice and also a lot in the amount of beverages that is. So I would highly recommend this one. And yeah, simply because also it's a Lumina company. So for Lumina, I would give it a rate of 9 out of 10 also. I think so. <laughs> yeah, 9 out of 10 because... I think it's worth the amount and for the glasses we are going for around 650 I think so if I'm not mistaken I guess it has been indicated yeah 650 Canon shillings only uh, another one is this one of which you guys I never knew that this was the back side and this one was the side that you're supposed to use so when i was doing the vlog where i was cooking the fish that really backfire <laughs> you can see what i did i don't know if it's visible yeah but if you guys to buy this one always use this side the rough side and not the soft side i would highly also get to recommend this one in case you're interested you can get to buy it even if you don't use it uh, in most of the times, but I would highly recommend this one. I think the price was 300 if I'm not mistaken, or 250. I can't remember so much well, but yeah, it ranges from there either 250 or 350, but it ranges from there. And I would highly recommend if maybe you are wondering, should I get to buy that one for 1000, whatever? But this one it works out the same, and I would highly recommend it. Else, I would okay, I don't know if I'm the one who made a mistake. You can see this one, it's a dish rack. I won't be showing you mine because it has utensils on it. And I don't think I have all the time to, <laughs> to redo and redo again. But yeah, I'm talking about this dish, dish rack that is... Unfortunately, it started to rust. I'm not sure if I'm the one who made the mistake. Or please, you can get to comment down below. But if in a getting it could rust, I won't recommend, I would even get to recommend, I'd rather get to go for a plastic dish rack that is, even if I don't like plastic, I myself, I would not recommend the stainless dish rack, simply because young women are could rust, that is because of the water, but I don't know if I'm the one who made, remember, I don't know if I'm the one who made the mistake, but if you have stayed with your dish rack for more than like one year and hijack one uh, the rust, can you get to comment on the door? So that I can get to know if I'm the one who made the mistake, simply because I've been washing and putting the utensils without making the water to be dry. But I don't know. <laughs> I never knew you're supposed to dry water. So if you happen to have one, kindly ensure you that you get to dry your utensils and uh, yeah so to me i think if it's in the local rust i will have to change another one simply because it rust everywhere since it's a metal like thing that is so yeah if you happen to buy just make sure you dry your utensils 
so guys the last item are the pots that i had bought last year but i don't think it's more than a year but <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> yeah let me just get to show you and uh, this one the only disadvantage is because of this and it's because when i'm cooking maybe when i'm frying something like maybe fries the oil in the makeup are in the split to join and i can anima footer it's so oily so so oily i don't know what ingredients to use but i would highly recommend these superiors 10 out of 10 guys it's a um, nastic that is and you guys so far so good i don't have any issue with these pots like i think it's the best dish hey it's the best decision i have ever made <laughs> in my whole entire life <laughs> It gets to come with this one. This is the second one. Well, also with this one. You will note that the ones that I frequently use, the corner, the bronze substance at the back side, that is. But if you really know how to maintain these ones, I think I would highly recommend a lot of 10. These tasks, they worth the amount. They worth keeping them in your house simply because even if you have visitors, it's easy even to clean uh the, the the food that you had cooked before like yesterday i made some porridge with this one and right now imagine nimosha with no time it's so clean and i told you guys when you're cleaning it just clean in a gentle way you don't have to force anything just clean with a gent in a gentle way with a scrubber just ensure that you get to water it before you scrub no scrub now just in a journey come on i'll go down to baby in a jaw yeah <laughs> and even this one i would really recommend on it so 10 out of 10. and they also come with this one this the the other bigger pot and this one is the biggest so as i said before if you're planning to buy these pots they are from bosch bosch german company and i would highly recommend them they were going for around seven five if i'm not mistaken yeah seven five that is so guys, <laughs> if you need them, just go for them. And they come with the different colors. There doesn't for gray, brown, maroon, um, pink, what else? Uh, creamish, I think so. So just get to go and get them in Kamukonji. And so guys, if you have come so far up to here, that's the end of my rating view on my some of my items. So in the next part of the video, I'll just be showing the shop that I always get to shop all my items. Everything that you get to see in my house that concerns utensils, I get to buy them at best mark. Okay, this is not a sponsored video. They don't even know that I do vlogs. <laughs> but anyway, I would highly recommend them simply because they are very affordable they also have even a shop in town so you can get to contact them and i'm going to be leaving down below the number of bernard as i said before uh, yeah so the items the items i can get to recommend even though i've never visited most of the shops in kamukonji you can get to do your survey you don't have to go just in one shop just tembe azurura and maybe when you get to know different places you'll get different prices and you don't know you never know you never know you might get crazy crazy discounts from those people that you get to purchase more on there and yeah without too much wasting time ensure that you get to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe and yeah i'll be showing you the shop and uh, some of the things that they get to sell in this shop that's called best mark without that guys let me get to see you in my next video bye
Let go. 